Hey everyone, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to paint some Christmas theme. Let's get started. Take some ink. I'm going to start with the eyes of a Northern Cardinal. I have painted this subject before, but I think it is on testing different art cards. This is a real rice paper, which is very different. The female Northern Cardinal has muted plumage. So I mix yellow color with blue to get some green and then add a bit of orange color. See, it looks similar to a muted color. Head first and then the crest. You may add more orange color or the red for the crest. The beak should be chunky red as well, but I forgot. You can paint anything with ink in Chinese painting anyway. I don't have any photo reference for this painting. I just paint from my memory. And I just come up with the composition that I think may work. This is a new attempt. The male Northern Cardinal is a common red bird in North America. The black face mask makes it very difficult to show the eyes. So I'm leaving a white circle around the eyes before I put on the black face mask. I like it better this way. And also the black face mask go down to the throat area. So you might want to have a bit of black down as well, just like the way that I did. And the prominent crest. To get the shades of red, I mix some orange color with Chinese red. If you look at the real bird, the chest is bright orange as well. However, I like it to have some contrast, so I mix some shades with a yellow, orange, and a little bit of red. Now I'm going to paint some poncetta. I'll start with some flowers, which are the tiny little yellow flowers in the middle of the red leaves, and then some bright red statements. Light green for the apples and pedicel. Now I'm mixing some orange color with red to paint the bracts, which are the leaves that turned into red to attract insects for pollination. I'm going to start with some smaller leaves in the middle. And then some green leaves. The leaves are really important to make the red flowers more vibrant and attractive because it creates a big contrast. Give the leaves more definition. I'm gonna paint some veins. I'm mixing a darker shades of green color with yellowed and blue to paint on top of the wet paint. You don't have to wait till the first layer is completely dry because you don't want the vein to be very stand out. You want it to blend well with the leaves. That's why you have to paint wet on wet. Instead of painting some tree branches with ink, I'm gonna just put some splash on it. This is a shade of yellowed and orange color. Mm -hmm. 
I want this painting to be a bit more dynamic, so I'm adding some green shades of splasher on it. This is my first attempt and it looks pretty modern. I think it works without the tree branches. If you'd like to see more of my venture into modern Chinese painting, please subscribe and turn on the notification button. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time.